Hello everyone, this is James from 3D Printing Reviews again, uh, and today I'm bringing you my video on the Colorfab 3D printing filaments uh, that I received recently. Uh, so Colorfab were kind enough to send me a selection of their special specialist filaments. Um, so that was some wood-based filament, uh, carbon fiber, metal-based, um, glow fill, NGN, and XT and HT in fact. Uh, so let's have a look at the results. Uh, so we're going to start with the wood based filaments. So I'll just bring that into frame and I've just got to refocus. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, it came out, I actually came, I think they came out really well actually. Um, so this is Colorfab's logo uh, mascot. Uh, whether it's an official uh, logo mascot, I'm not sure, but it was on Thingiverse. Uh, so that's what I chose to print. Um, it's like a little spooled man. I thought that was quite cool. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the wood-based filament. Um, I'll put on screen details of each filament as I show the pictures or videos of them. Um, so you can see what I printed them at, um, etc. So yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how these turned out actually. So let's move on to the next one. It's, it's, it's nice and smooth up here. You can see a little bit of banding. Um, that could work. That probably is a printer artifact rather than anything to do with filament. Uh, you can also see a bit of stringing on this one there. And on the other side, um, I use a raft when I print, uh, so that's why the bottom is like it is. So yeah, uh, next one. Oops. So they all come out identical in quality. Uh, I'm very happy with how they printed. Uh, these were actually printed with a 0.6 mil nozzle. Um, purely because when I've printed a, a 0.4 nozzle before, I've had um, jams and clogs, so I decided to just to straight away start with a 0.6. So yeah, so that's the wood-based filaments. So very happy with those. Um, next, I'll move on to the carbon fiber and glow fill. So let's have a look at the glow fill. There we go. Again came out really well um, <laughs> if you notice there's a couple of sort of marks and dents on here uh, that's because when I put this outside to catch the light I'm not quite sure if you'll pick it up no um, my dog decided that she was gonna bring it back indoors to me should we say so yeah it's got a few marks on but other than that that's absolutely fine um, yeah printed really well again um, if you've seen my review of the uh, wrapper um, UV or the glow in the dark filament, you'll see that the result or the, the effect that you get from that is very similar to this. So yeah, that's the glow fill. Next, carbon fiber. Um, this may well have been how I how I was printing it, and actually I'll. The reason I say that is because one thing that I was not really impressed with with regards to Colorfab is the lack of information on their website about printing settings or print settings. Temperature obviously is a, is a major part when it comes to printing different filaments and there's just no information in their own write-up of what temperature to use. I actually got most of the temperatures print these filaments in from the review section so other people have had the opportunity to to suggest what print temperature to use so yeah that's the color fab um, yeah so next we'll move on to the metal base and other specialist filaments okay now here we are with another filament um, I just have to um, apologize actually if you can hear my printer in the background um, I'm just printing out uh, some quad card quadcopter arms actually uh, in carbon fiber just to, to see how they come out 
Okay, so this is the N-Gen um, filament. Uh, and you might have noticed that this sm little print is smaller than the others. Um, that's basically because I felt that the wood-based filaments and the glow, glow fill uh, just needed a slightly larger model just to show off what they were able capable of. Um, whereas N-Gen uh, and the other ones, I've just done them in smaller, smaller size. So again, really nice filament to work with. No problems whatsoever with this. Um, and I felt that printed really nicely, actually. Uh, so next, we've got um, the HT, which I believe just stands for high temperature, because this was printed at 265, something like that, 240, 240 to 260 so yeah quite a high temperature again came out absolutely fine perfectly in fact um, changed a few settings and eliminated the stringing 90% of anyway um, yep so that's quite a nice print um, and then the next one as you can see slight problem um, I don't think it was a clog as such as that it got all gooped up and tangled up on the top here and then was just not extruding or wasn't um, able to print correctly so I stopped the print and just went with what we had there so that is XT I believe but other than the, the bit at the top that printed absolutely fine as well really happy with that uh, and I also, I'm not sure if I've got it on hand, but I also printed uh, a bottle opener in this filament as well because of, I like the, the semi-transparent um, effect of the filament and it's because it's meant to be a quite a strong filament which it feels really quite strong actually. So yeah, that's XT. Uh, so that then brings us on to the metal-based filaments. So again, slightly smaller model. Um, but came out really really nicely and you can feel the weight of the of the model when it's printed in a metal based filament um, I have these are straight off the printer I haven't done any post processing yet um, I'm going to experiment with a few different things to see what effect you can get from a the metal based filament so this is the next one again came out really nicely filled the top nicely with the top layers has a slight problem getting the raft off the bottom of these but I've left that on there might better get that off when I do the post processing um, and again had a, had a, I actually had a clog with the um, with this filament uh, I switched over to the 0.4mm uh, steel nozzle um, oh I should say also printed the carbon fibre in the 04 steel nozzle as well um, so yeah that this particular filament was really soft or not soft but it it didn't go through the extruder very well and so it got clogged up at the top um, this happened twice so this was the best of the two prints I got out of the filament sample I was sent but yeah still actually quite a nice print and you can see the the fill infill and everything so yeah so that's the 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 filaments that I was sent, very thank thankful to Colourfab for sending them to me. Um, and what I'll do is I'll get some close up photos of these as well to include in the video um, so you can see them in better detail. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with how that came out. Um, so, yeah, if you've got any questions about the Colourfab specialist filaments, um, please post a comment on down below. Um, yeah, and so, until next time, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.